No, I can't. I have these two dumb bitches <laughs> podcast studio in my dining room, okay? All systems are going. Okay, everybody. It looks like all systems are blasting. Five, four, three. Two, one. One. Yeah, oh yeah, we're coming back to ya from the city we know when. Ooh yeah, we're driving through the streets of Nashville. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tina and Lip be recording a podcast at the storage unit. It's the place that she's supposed to record her podcast. But now we've commandeered it for slop. Nashville, Broadway Street. 24 is the highway here. We just ate some Mexican food so we could fuel for this podcast. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. She keeps on singing in Nashville Yeah, 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 yeah She doesn't even stop for a minute No, 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 no The end of that reminds me of Friends The Friends For sure The Friends song Dude, I got, I got, I started singing it and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta just stop doing the Bruce Springsteen thing when I'm singing it, because huh? it's stressing me out. It's putting too much pressure on me. I gotta breathe a little bit. Don't you dare ever change it. Just change you it. know what I mean. Just breathe a little. Don't breathe at all. <laughs> How pointy was my tongue? Man, I was watching that thing go for a while. It was like I was watching a vibrato. What's it called? The vibrato? At all. I've got the pointiest tongue in history. What about mine? Not as pointy as this. No, that is pointy. Oh, I've definitely, you definitely don't have the pointiest tongue in history. There's a bunch more freaks out there trying to look like lizards. Yeah, mine's natural. Yeah, I definitely, would. I, I mean, I'm not hating on the tongue or anything, but I wouldn't look at your tongue and be like, yeah, she was meant to be a little lizard. But, but I will hu- say in is. in human form, I mean, you're not going to find a, a skinnier, more pokey tongue. Yeah, it matches your arch, uh, your, um. You know, your arch eyebrows. My, my, my arch nemesis. <laughs> okay, so I don't entirely remember that. The, re- remember that m- picture of you with the eyebrows? Did you Photoshop that or did someone Photoshop that on you? Was it something you did? I can't remember. Oh, you're talking about the arches? Yeah, I'm talking about. I did it. I did it. Uh, I took an app where you just put regular eyebrows on. Mm-hmm. And I manipulated them so they went. I just took took the little slider and went all the way over. So they just went <laughs> and then went even closer. Sure, yeah. Love that you're saying manipulated when you just used a simple, you know, little free app or something. That's good for sure. And I I originally had them go up, mm-hmm. and they weren't touching. And then someone I can't remember who it is. Damn it. Said Mick eyebrows. And then that's when I joined them together to make them the iconic eyebrows that we know and love. <laughs> Nobody knows what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess they probably don't. Um, it's just literally a photo of Libby from a long time ago where her eyebrows are just large McDonald's arches. That's it. Mac. Donald's <laughs> and and they were a hit. Well, I'll tell you right before we uh got here, we went to a Mexican restaurant and uh 
You guys are not going to fucking believe. You're not going to believe this. Who we saw. Country, music, star. John Party. John Party. Round of applause for John Party, everybody. <laughs> yep. Country music icon, John Party. We saw him exiting a Mexican restaurant. You know, we didn't bother him. I should have. <laughs> He, he looked at, he didn't even look at me, I was going to say. He didn't look at me. He avoided all eye contact. No, but I mean, he looked like a quintessential country boy. It is like 67 degrees. He got into the most beautiful looking Bronco, r- restored God that I've seen in a while. I mean, it was fucking gorgeous. And I will say that he had to give it a couple of, <laughs> to get it started. Oh, it he. start on the first thing. Mm. And I thought... If I didn't know he was John Party, I would have thought, look at that Hoosier. Yeah, you would have thought, hey, look at that poor loser. <laughs> <laughs> and Hoosier, of course, is a very local word to St. Louis. Just kind of means, you know, redneck. Yeah. But if if I didn't know he was a famous superstar, I would have thought, look at this fucking guy. I definitely, for sure. Can't even get his car started. What a loser. Yeah, I'd be look, I'd be like, oh, look at this fucking Hoosier. He's walking into his fucking Bronco trying to act all big dick boy, not even looking at me. What's up? I'm over here cat calling him. He won't even look at me. He wouldn't look at me for nothing. No. And I was going, hey there, fella. Yep. That's, that didn't happen. No. I was, uh, I was in my car just... Uh, taking a phone call so i actually didn't even notice that it was john party until i looked down at my phone and then looked over to my right outside of my vehicle and then i see the fella right there and i i i stopped some and i no i didn't stop him i didn't do nothing i looked over to the right and i said I see there him. goes my <laughs> future my everything i wanted to to ask the servers in there what did he get yeah you, what why didn't you? You're friends with them. I just didn't want to. I was like, you know what? I've met John Party, and I don't want him to see this podcast and and think like. Yeah, because him and all of his country music star friends watch, watch this. this podcast. I don't want him to think that I'm a, you know, a kiss and tell girl. For sure. Well, my thing is, I don't want someone auctioning off my information if I leave, if I leave a restaurant and someone walks in there after me and says, hey, what was that? What was that girl eating? I want uh, t- your lips better be sealed. OK, you're my server. That's a and they server patient confidentiality. They'd say, well, she had the lunch uh, fajitas and she she ate, she said lunch fajitas when she <laughs> ordered them, which she really didn't need to because it was during the lunch hour. Well, there, you know. I think you do have to specify because if you get the dinner version, you get the free chips with it. If you get the lunch version, you have to pay two twenty five for chips. But I think because I got the dinner, you were grandfathered into the chips. Yes, I was a I was grandfathered in for sure. The, it was null and void. Null and void. The original two twenty five that would have been tacked on to my meal. And, you know, they know us. Like we said, we're, we were under the impression that we were the only famous people that ate there. And now we know that we're not. So I'm going to stop going there. <laughs> I'm not going there anymore. I just posted to next door and said, hey, I saw John Party there. <laughs> Saddle up. And then I said, country girl, shake it for me. Is that his song? Country girl, shake it for me now. Shake it for me now. Shake it for me. I honestly don't know. I actually think that song's like Brian. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look on this. Which I did see, um, <clears throat> you know, I saw a gal, for, girl I've known forever, her kid, 13 years old, I think, for her 13th birthday present. She got Luke Bryan tickets, and I mean this whole big thing. And part of me was like, huh, I did not know that 13-year-old kids today (laughs) gave a fuck about Luke Bryan. I was just pleasantly surprised. I was like, wow, must be making a comeback. And, And these aren't, the parents are not. Influencing it? 
it, they may be, but let me just stress the parents are not these people that I would have automatically pegged as Luke Bryan lovers, <laughs> which is what he should rebrand his fan club to. Luke Bryan, if you're listening, I really think <laughs> that's the guy that sang Country Girls, Shake It For Me. That's John Party. Country Girls, Shake It For Me is John Party? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh, sorry. I w- I thought you were validating I was, my I was thing. Just no problem. A nice picture. Oh no, no, that was a nice picture of him, and that is pretty much what he looked like. T- Here's what he looked like today, walking into his Bronco. He looked like you know when you, they show a hot country guy in a movie, and they're like, "Okay, I'm closing my eyes so I can really picture this." It's like they show a guy who's got like kind of a tan, you know, a little bit. He's kind of a little ooh burnt from the day, and like some cool hair and he's got on a white t-shirt and it's got like some kind of sweat stains and dirt on you know what I'm talking Mm -hmm. about and it's just a simple white t-shirt tucked into his jeans with a little belt you know and he's got a cigs on him whatever that's what John Party looked like walking into his truck to me he had a baseball cap didn't he I didn't I think he did but I'm just trying to get set the vibe, you know, for like how majestic I was trying to I was trying to remember because sometimes I'll have a false memory. Oh, yeah. I believe he did have a baseball cap on now that I I, I'm thinking and I looked over to the right and he should have seen. But he was probably like, oh, God, it's another fan. He's like, oh, God, look at that fatty standing outside her car staring at me. (laughs) I was trying to pretend I was waiting for you, even (laughs) though I knew that you weren't coming in right away. So I'm like, I'm just gonna stand here and. Look around. Libby, you like were standing there trying to pretend like he, he, like you don't recognize him. You're like hanging on top of your car like this. (laughs) Going. Or just start singing one of his songs. I'd just be like, country girl dancing for me. Oh, hey, what's up, man? I didn't see you standing there. Be like. Country girl, shake it for me, girl. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were there. You, like, fake it out. I am a Russian woman who loves John Party. I'm, like, trying to get him to notice me. He's like, I think I recognize you. And I'm like, what do you mean? I should have said, hey, remember that one time you came and watched our comedy show at Zany's with Chelsea Lynn? <laughs> and and then he'll he'll be like, Mm-mm. he'll be like, no. Mm-mm. I do remember two... Uh, remember watching Chelsea, but I don't remember anybody else. I do remember two fatter waitresses on stage uh, <laughs> before, but that's really it. <laughs> and if you're wondering, his name is not Party, like P-A-R-T-Y, even though you would think it should be, but it's not. Yeah, if you think we're saying John Party, we're not. We're saying John Party. Um, Heartache on the dance floor. Is that the Murder on the Dance Floor song? Missing You Crazy. Night Shift. Up All Night. What I Can't Put Down. When I've Been Drinking. Head Over Boots. She Ain't It. I think it just goes to show a testament that famous people are just like you and I. The guy went into the restaurant by himself, had a lunch, and then left. Yeah. He's not at home doing cocaine and and banging strippers no he's just having a regular tuesday yeah here is what john part remember tremors with kevin bacon it's like just yes. that western vibe yep. like these cool guys wearing a hat out in the sun they're out patrolling getting in their big old trucks mm-hmm smoking that's spot on that's exactly how he was that was the vibe for me it's just basically and honestly that is what i would like my vibe to be as i get older i just want my aesthetic to kind of be tremors i want mine to be very joan rivers yeah i want people to be like whoa she is a classy gal that's interesting see i don't want that i want i don't want that at all That's too much work for me. I don't want to be dressing up that much. Well, I don't want to do all that stuff. I just want people to think that about me. Oh, for sure. To be, well, I think the outfit, everything you're wearing top up today is very fancy. What I've got going on is the weirdest bun 
type. I'm not even sure what ended up happening with my hair today. I was trying to fix it today, and I got a few salsa stains on my shirt. <laughs> and you, I mean, you look like you're a fucking anthropology cover right now. I mean, look at those sleeves. These are cool. Are you fucking kidding? Look at that. Open that. Look at all those opinions she has in there. Look at that. And the fun thing about this is when we were leaving my house and I was grabbing stuff and my sweater actually went into the candle and caught on a fire a little bit. <laughs> and I smelled something burning and then they go, oh, that was my sweater that was burning. Yeah. Could well, have really ended in tragedy, but luckily uh, I had the Lord on my side. Oh, yeah. The Lord's been, the Lord, here's the thing. You had the Lord looking out for you earlier to make sure that you, that fire got put out, you know, because the Lord knew, hey, she can't be stopped dropping and rolling. Right. That's not happening. There is not stop dropping and rolling with me unless I am actually passing away. Mm -hmm. And that would be my final moment. I could have done one of these. Oh, 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 ow, ow, uh, ow. It, it, whenever something is about to fall or whatever, anything like that, when I need to warn someone about something, I have been doing a terrible job lately. So I know for a fact I would not be able to help you in that kind of situation because I would probably go, uh, uh, and I, I get been like, silent. What's the problem? What's going on? What's the problem? <laughs> and I would have been like, uh, what are you doing, uh, dude? And then I would have had to run over and like My I would have had arms on fire. I'm like, ah, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, God. And Annie's just standing there hissing. Yeah, Annie would just fucking be biting me. <laughs> I, um, yeah, well, the Lord was helping you earlier to avoid Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Lord. You know what else he helped? He helped John Party come out at the same time that I was pulling up. That's true. In my car, looking like the most elderly person that ever existed like this. <laughs> you literally looked at him and went. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clean off my eyes. You had to clean your eyes. Yeah, well, all that was going on. I had this uh, to-go drink that I demanded, which is still... I want you to, hey, why don't you just check that out? See how full that drink is. Pretty is full, really right? Full. Look at mine. Yeah, yours is pretty full. Mine's more full for sure. So, as I was uh, getting into the car. I can't believe you didn't spill that. Just I now? I can't. Ow. I cannot believe you didn't spill it. Just now? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're pretty good at spilling. Yeah. Oh, you just thought during that. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I have that spill thing that Tracy gave us somewhere over there. Yeah. Um, I got mine at home. Didn't bring it. But uh, I went to grab the lid off of this. Or not the lid. I went to grab, sorry. I went to grab my cup. And what I did was take the fucking lid off. Some of it just started spilling out. Oh, God. I had to grab a brand new denim dress that I have in my car. I had to grab it and wipe up all this Diet Coke. Oh. Yep. Well, I'll tell you a story that happened to me. I went to a coffee place, and I'm not going to say which one because we're supposed to be boycotting them. Sure. And I picked up my coffee, very much like how you picked up yours, and the top came off. And I'd say about a quarter cup to a half a cup of hot molten liquid uh, fell onto my belly as I was driving. And it was one of those times where I'm like, I just have to take the pain. Yeah. You don't That's all I could do. There's nothing you can do. You got to breathe through it. You got to sit in it. I wasn't going to veer off the road because that wouldn't have made the pain go away. No. What, it, what, it, what it's going to do is cause more pain. You're going to kill right. someone. Uh, You're going to inflict pain on a family. And, um, and it was at that time where I was like, you know what? I am mad at, at this coffee place because they should make a more reliable lid. If they're going to have hot molten lava coffee, mm -hmm. that's going to be anywhere from 150 to 65 degrees. Sure. You got to have a, a safer top. Yeah, if we're talking about temperatures of meats with temperatures uh, with, liquid, with liquids, you know what I'm saying? 160 to 165. I mean, we, now, need, we, need to be, we need to be really taken care, okay? Now I know why that lady sued McDonald's back in the day when she got that hot coffee. Oh. It wasn't her fault. Uh, we, know the, we know the coffee's hot. 
there's nothing that gives me more anxiety at my restaurant job back home in St. Louis that then when we put a to-go thing of chili, and I mean, it is my biggest fear is that someone that, but also I'm like, don't be a fucking idiot, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't be grabbing stuff all fucking stupid. Willy-nilly. You can't be grabbing stuff all willy-nilly. I'm one of the clumsiest people in the world. You know how often I grab something? You know how often I grab something like that? Look at that. I, that's I am how barely, I pick up all cups. I am barely holding on, you if know? If I'm in the car, I'm not grabbing it like this because you can't because it's in your cup holder. You're grabbing it like this. Yeah. And I mean. Sometimes that'll slip. Mm-hmm. Like this one's about to come off. And guess what? Oh. Hot, hot molten lava all over you. Yep. Middle school, yeah. It's it, There is nothing worse than doing one of these. Trying to trying to grab your little... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh you're, you're oh, fucking gets everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. That's exactly what happened to my stupid-ass car on top of my faux leather car seats. I mean, the things are crispy. I just used a Clorox wipe that I used on my dashboard... All over these seats afterwards. I mean, I used five wipes, one clean of the car, you know, and and when you say faux leather, what do you mean, like a vinyl? Um, they're it's fake. It's a uh, you know just fake looking, like pleather, not vinyl. Mm. I don't. I can't remember what the inside of your car looks like. It doesn't match what it should look like. I know everything is very far away. In my car. Like the middle console? Yeah. Very far. You're just reaching. Yeah. Oh, God. I just, now that, now that I've tasted a little bit of, you know, luxury of having a larger car, mm -hmm. I, I won't stop. I I need room. I want elbow room. I want to be able to just I really. I want leg room. I don't even care about elbows. I want leg room. I don't want my legs to be cramped. Your so your big thing is gonna be your big thing's leg room in the car. Mine's definitely I want elbow room. I want to be able to spread out. Same. I like to have room for my stuff. Well, if if I was able if I was only able to choose one, I'd pick leg room. But if I could have both, yeah, I want elbow and leg room. Yeah, I'm not trying to sit next to somebody and touch their elbow. Nothing fucking worse, or you know. Not having room to put your elbow onto the center console. When people have those small center consoles, mm -hmm. I don't like all that. What about the center console like in the back of the Suburban that's just about an inch too short? Where your shoulder's being dislocated when you're... Yeah. I just need it to be a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. Maybe here. Yeah, and that's when you've got to prop your, your stuff up. That way, when I'm looking at my phone... My arm isn't going into uh, toxic fatigue shock syndrome or toxic shock. I'm not getting fatigued. I don't like getting fatigued. Oh, I mean, it, listen, I'm starting to think that we're all going to have a ton of nerve damage from holding oh, our phones and stuff. My neck is constantly hurting. I'm telling you, man, when I'm going to bed at night or eight, if, when I wake up at f four. To 5 a.m. every morning with just sheer anxiety and pick up my phone and hold it for so long, my hand starts to go numb. Oh, that was me today. It is. It's scary. It's, I was in the shower going like this, like trying to get feeling back in there. It's starting to scare me. Not enough to really change anything, but, you know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about changing something. At least you're thinking about it, you know? That way, if you go to the doctor and he can say, this is from this, and you're like, I know. Yeah, I can be I like, well, I'm aware of that. Duh. You think I don't know what that's from? <laughs> Give me some narcotics, doc. <laughs> well, the posture thing's what's really confusing to me. I'm just not sure how you're supposed to really sit. It's because I feel like I'll be sitting correctly sometimes, and then I'm like, am I? Because then the next thing I know, I look over in my neck, I'm like, I look like Mitch McConnell. I look Let's like see. Mitch McConnell getting ready to eat someone's pussy. Does this look normal? I mean, <laughs> no. It looks weird. Because I feel like that is straight 
correct posture. I'm trying. I got my spine aligned. I guess you look fine. It doesn't look comfortable. No, it doesn't look comfortable. To me, it looks like you're trying to fake meditate. Like you're like, I'm meditating. And someone it's like, no, you're not. And this is comfortable. Yeah. This I mean, I just need a Roy G. Biv. I need an acronym or something to let me know. How, like, you know what I'm saying? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Like, there's a song to let you know. Okay, these are the things you need to check in with. Right. Head. So, can we have something like that for body posture? Head, neck, shoulders, spine, hips. It's like, I can barely do a kettlebell swing. How am I supposed to figure out how to This is properly? so uncomfortable. Ima- yeah, imagine. That's the thing. Humans evolve. We're just going to evolve and be like this. Yep. And it'll be normal because humans didn't used to be like we are now. And the people aren't saying, oh, that's because you were holding your rock hammer too long. Oh, God. It's going to be so sad. We'll be just like this. They're like, humans are going to be the only ones they are like... We're going to be like hunchbacks from here on out. We're just going back to the way we were. Oh, man. It really does like shit. Like every time I feel my posture just fucked up, I want to just recorrect. And it's probably just seeing photos and videos of myself. A lot of, I think a lot of what's really woken me up. Oh, you're woke now? (laughs) Yes. Wake up, sheeple. Y'all need this to wake woke up. agenda. Hey, you need to wake up, sheeple, okay? What's up? <laughs> Dab. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, 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 throwing a ball. Uh-oh, woke. throwing a ball to my family. <laughs> woke. Um, what's really woken me up has definitely been a lot of the footage of myself doing the texting face. Just a lot of, I, I've really started to see the gravity of of what that's going to do to my spine. What is happening long when you're term? Doing that? I have no real explanation for it other than I'm really really in the zone. But my mom kind of had a texting face when she'd be on the regular telephone. Say this, she would go like this. It was a lot of head movement and her lips going. (laughs) And I wish she could be alive today to show it to you. And for (coughs) her to see your texting face. Yeah. I could have never. I wish I'll be alive. Uh, uh, Let's off that cough. I'm not going to be around much longer. I don't know if I could have brought anybody around my mom now because she's so... She said such offensive things to people and fat phobic things to people, even when it was bad. But now that it's really bad where you can't say that to people, I would have been like, Mom, I can't bring anybody around you. Do you, I mean, do you think I would have gotten offended by her? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Because she would have been like, oh, looks like you lost some weight. Or... Oh, you're looking skinny. Something like that. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Somebody. Yeah, dude, people just don't. I I never know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Because it's like when you lose, when you do lose some weight, whatever, then I'll have people be like, oh, hey, you're looking better. You look good. Whatever. <laughs> you're you're losing weight. You look so much better. That's, yeah. Like, I, can't, huh? I, can't, I can't fucking stand that one for sure. But I'm also Man, like. You were really porking up there for a while, but you're looking good now. Like, huh? Cool. And then you do. Porking up? Oh, yeah. For sure. It is offensive until you, like, see one photo of yourself one time, and then you're like, well, I mean, you know, just (laughs) if you're looking objectively at a large honey ham, just a really large one, and you put it next to my face. No. No. We are not going to internalize fat phobia onto ourselves. That's, yeah. 
<clears throat> and that's a, one of the problems I have when I'm riding my uh, mobility scooter. There's a lot of ableist, fat phobic thinking. Because in my brain, I'm thinking, people are thinking, oh, she's riding that scooter because she's fat. Which is, even if that's the case, even if I'm riding it because I'm fat, that's fine. Doesn't matter why I'm riding a scooter. I need to ride it because I need help. Well, it's like someone's sleeping because they're tired. But people don't say, oh, look at that person sleeping. They must be real sleepy. Yeah. You see a fat person on a scooter and your brain automatically is going to say, oh, they're fucking fat and lazy. Mm -hmm. And really, I have to, every time I ride it or think about riding it, um, I have to really undo all that thinking that like I I deserve to be able to get to from point A to point B without being in pain. Yeah. I deserve to go places that have uh, too much walking. I deserve those things. Hell yeah. And every time I'm on it, I have to remind myself, and that's sad. <clears throat> that's real. It makes me sad. Yeah, I know. That I, I I get that. I mean, it's. I think that's kind of how. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's there's it. there's definitely many times, many things I've had like trauma things or whatever in my life when I really just like think about X, Y, and Z or whatever. Where I'm like, ugh, it's just sad, you know mm-hmm. that that that's what's going on or that that's what's happened. That's sad, but also. You know, I just... We're doing the best we can. We're all just doing the best we can, guys. We got... (laughs) Who cares if someone's got a little scooter? I mean, uh, uh, people get so bent out of shape when they see a fat person on a scooter. Because it just to them reinforces the idea that fat people are lazy. They're not doing enough. Also... If you're, if, and I've noticed this online too, um, I follow a couple of creators that are, I don't know how to say the word, ambulatory wheelchair users. So they, they can walk, but they use wheelchairs because they're like me where they can't walk long distances. And people are like, well, you're lazy or you don't need a wheelchair. Why are you in a wheelchair? And it's, it's just a lot of like ableist stuff. Like leave people alone. If their life is easier because of that or less painful, why are you, why do you care? Uh, That's the part that don't get, that I don't get. No, that a hundred percent. That's, that's definitely the part that's the fucking shittiest. It's just like, it's like fucking, if someone's doing something that's making them feel good and be the person they want to be, why, why would that bug you? Why would that bug anyone? Probably because they're jealous because they don't have what's called a travel scoot. Well, and I mean, I just think like, you know, hey, dude, whatever. If you really need to like do it, you know, like just fucking, if you're like, oh God, oh God, I just can't, I can't handle watching fat people on scooters i just fucking can't like i don't know bro watch some youtube videos desensitize yourself before you go out you know just like chill out it's not well i don't know it just doesn't it's very confusing to me that someone would be angry about that because it's like okay but because someone's old and they need to use a scooter then you're fine with that as long as your body isn't huge yeah I mean, it's like, I don't know. There's probably, like, people that also just use it because it's faster for them to fucking get around, too, you know? I mean, what's the point? Like, who wants to walk, dude? Let's fucking all ride on scooters. And so you're rocking the travel scoot. That's what it's the called? The travel scoot. And I got the the one that, that goes 5.2 miles an hour. Mm. Now, when you're going that fast in a TJ Maxx, you're going to get a lot of this. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be looking like, damn, that thing goes fast because yeah. I'm scooting. I'm going from here to there. I'm going from purses to suitcases to makeup to home goods to towels. Ye- I mean, I covered the whole store. 
you walk in there and they're like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You're like, they're like, need a cart? And you're like, nope, got one right here. Boom. I'm in the back by the fucking <laughs> bag clips in the bathroom section. Okay. Make it a stop over in the clearance real quick. And then I'm going to hop in there. Ooh, I love that. I'm glad you're zooming around there. The only bad thing about the travel scoot is it does have a basket on it, but it's only this big. So last night I had a, a lamp in there and a fake plant and I couldn't put any more items in there. Now there is a thing on the bottom where I keep my pocketbook, mm -hmm. but I need a bigger basket. Yeah. Or I need um, a person to push a cart behind me so I could just start throwing stuff like this in there. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need to really investigate it and see it. I'd like to see it in action, first off and well, foremost. Well, I tell you what, it's in my trunk, and after we're done recording this, we can get it out, and we can zoomy. Yeah, and I would like to try to match the speed of the 5.2 <laughs> walking next to you. You know, I just want to see what's going on, and if I can even get that fast, because, I mean, I think that's running. Well, I don't think we'll there's see. a any fucking way I've ever ran 5.2 miles in my life. Well, all I'm going to say is it goes faster than any conventional scooter you're going to find in like a Walmart or a Kroger. Like Those a, things are so slow that it's almost better for me to walk. Like a razor. You know, the and I mean, this, I do want to double check. So the scooters I do remember in my mind, and this is a travel one, so it's like, you know, and you sit down on it, right? Sit down. Sit down. It's got three wheels. Yep. Okay. Three wheels. Um, and if you turn too quickly, you will topple over. Ooh. I will say that. Yeah. Um, and that's just in life, you know? You can't be turning too quickly anywhere. You need to be careful whether you're on the travel scoot or just stand it up. <laughs> I mean, you, that's, yeah. everyone yeah. needs to look out. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn too quick. <laughs> now, the thing that's different with the travel scoot that's, different than other scooters is it's very light so i can fold it up and put it in my car and also um i can fold it up and put it in my pussy it's or very, you can put it in your pussy it's very compact uh, also it's very lightweight it's only 30 pounds Ooh. 35 pounds which is good and um what's the other different thing about it there's something really different about it oh most of the scooters in the store when you take your hand off the throttle it stops you have to put your brake on and it's got little Breaks like this. This thing. It's going to keep on rolling. Oh, and it keep rolling, 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 <laughs> rolling. I mean, this is sick, dude. See, I think this is awesome because I'm like, now you'll be able to come to fucking antique stores, antique stores. when we go and yep. do that stuff. Like, this is great. This They're like, rules. oh, let's go do some high action museum stuff. And I'm thinking. Can't. No. Not doing all that walking. Where did we go one time where I did get a scooter? It was a zoo, but I don't think it was with you. No, you. I think you guys went to Universal Studios. Well, that, that was a total fucking nightmare. Cannot relive that. Okay. <sighs> that was horrible. Oh, God. I can't imagine. Still have scars on my hips from that. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Barbara. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Um, if you're in, if you're in the, if you're in the, what's it called? Market. Market for a scooter. Look up the travel scooter. I will tell you it is very expensive. And I feel privileged that I was able to buy it. But honestly, I'm probably going to go into debt now that I do have it. I was going to say it could save me money, but because not, I couldn't go to TJ Mack or Marshall's before. Yeah. I just couldn't. So I will go into debt. Uh Go well, and I mean that's literally that's what you have to do. It's like if you get a fucking surgery, you gotta get no one's be like. That's what you gotta do, brother. You going into debt? You don't have to defend you fucking spending <laughs> to whatever fucking amount of money that you did on something that's gonna make the quality of your fucking right. life better. I'm Fuck privileged that I was able to get it. I think some people may be able to get it through their insurance if they need it because it is considered a mobility device. Hell and yeah! I could take it to the airport, ride it in the airport. Take it up to the gate and then put a little tag on it, and then they can put it in the bottom of the airplane where they'll probably destroy it. So I don't know that's going to be a good idea. Yeah, not sure we want to do that just <laughs> yet on the travel scoot. Definitely want to wait until. But well, I, you can put it in a suitcase. That This is fucking awesome, though. Like, this is literally... In the meantime, too, while you're like, you know, you're getting ready to hopefully get another round of surgeries mm -hmm. if everything goes well, talking to this new lady and shit. Um, 
I knocked on the real wood. You were knocking on particle board. I mean, I don't know, man. This got some real wood vibes to me. Isn't that cool, though? Yeah, this thing's awesome. I want somebody to paint it and make it look real nice. It was made for you. But no, man. S- somebody painted it brown. It wasn't me. Yeah. No, no, no. I You wouldn't do that. You need to <laughs> you need to sand it and get a new one. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. You're going to be just fucking scooting around town, brother. I hopefully, mean, hopefully. Hopefully. And if I if I get surgeries and I don't need it anymore, maybe I'll donate it to someone else that needs it. I think that is a great plan. And also, you could keep it and sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I could, but no, I'm joking. I, um, I, since I'm at a point of privilege where I was able to buy it. Okay, Maybe Barbara, I Lord, just... I shouldn't have said the Facebook Marketplace thing. Barbara, I sell enough stuff on there. And every time Maggie sells something on there, I comment on it and say, is this still available? Because <laughs> she doesn't do the option where it hides it from your friends and family like I do. Oh, okay. you're like, no, no, no. I don't <laughs> want no one seeing this. I don't want nobody seeing me sell something for $10. Yeah, I always do the weird free <laughs> posts in the group. I'll be like, hey, y'all, free pickup on this corner. <laughs> well, somebody's going to come get that and take it and sell it. Yeah, that's true. But also, sometimes I just want it the fuck out of my house. That's true. And then you just fucking... You, I, I've been doing this cool thing because the trash people have destroyed my fence by picking up the dumpster and then setting it directly onto our fence. <laughs> so my fence is just a fucking nightmare right now. God. Oh, God. Simba's scaring everybody because the fence is like lifted up. So Simba literally shoves his face under there. He's like, <gasps> why is he so barky? He just loves to bark at any motherfucker that walks up on the fence. He needs to get his life together. He can't, bro. He's he's just a fucking, he's on edge, man. He's got me as a mom. He's psycho. Mental problems. You don't bark at people. No, I don't. But I think it's just <laughs> like, you know. Hey! 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 <laughs> You're out there barking at people walking by your fence. Hey! <laughs> I mean, that is honestly kind of. I mean, if it was up to me, I would be on my front front porch patrolling. <laughs> yelling at everyone and waving at people oh in the summer when i had smoked the the hardest smoking vape you you suck hard on your vape so hard you suck like there's a there's a blockage well and sometimes i i there is a blockage that's a little (laughs) bit of what's going on now there is some kind sometimes Uh uh-uh don't even begin to smoke that trashy looking vape (laughs) on this podcast i got a battery at the weed store because uh in st louis i was trying to get a nice battery because i lost one that we had last year on the tour so before this tour i was like I'm going to get a really nice little battery for me and my pal, Beth Franks, and it's going to be awesome. And instead, I've been ridiculed every time I take it out. Everyone's fucking roasting it. Why would you get that with the diamonds on it, dude? It's not diamonds. <laughs> oh, it's not? No, but it is so fucking I lame. I mean, in like, why is it this short? This is the part that I don't like. It's, that's the highest the thing goes. So it's like, I want to be able to see the, you know what I'm saying? People want to see the juice, bro. People want that juice. They don't want to be not looking at the juice. It's like, I hand that to someone. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. Dude, I'm, I'm just, I thought that was diamonds on there. No. The diamonds to me made it trashier. Oh, God, but it yeah. still is pretty trashy. It looks like they're trying to be like, okay, picture this: you vaping in a spaceship. <laughs> no, it looks to me like <laughs> gas station purses with roses and stuff on them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I did just watch Space Man with Adam Sandler, though, so my brain is very kind of. My brain's definitely on the space stuff. So when you went in there to get that, did they have different choices or was that the only one they had left? This was the only one that they had left. I think, I think one of them was gray or something. So I decided being Tina Diebel, the dirtiest person I know, I decided to go with a pearl. 
cream white. There is actual pearl stains on this thing from my hands and my makeup. Look at it. Hold it. You'll see the bronzer. You'll I gotta you, get my glasses you, on. you know it when you see it. Yeah, it does look very spaceshipy up close. Oh, up close it looks very spaceshipy. Like they were just like now see how close you can tell these aren't diamonds, but there's not a lot left in there. No, there's not a lot left in there. And you guys are still working on the stuff that those people gave us, so that's good. Yep. Libby does not smoke at all any of that herb. And that's fine. I mean, whatever. No problem. I wish she did. I really think that it would be fun uh, if she did, but it's fine. I understand. And I get it. And I'm I'm not saying I wish she did in a way where I'm like, I wish like a substance uh, problem on you or, 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 or whatever. Where I'm like, yeah, you would be cooler if you smoked weed. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I, I whatever. It'd be fun to be high with you every once in a while. Who knows? Well, last night I put some uh, THC cream on my Anus. knees. And then as I was sleeping, I got some on my lip and started to freak out that I was going to get high. Because it was on my lip. Yeah. And it fell asleep. I tell you what, this chime change is really messing me up. Oh, God, it's fucking bringing me life. My mood the last three days, I'm just ready to get home. I'm like, let's get back to St. Louis and feel the weather, sun. I want to feel the sun on my body with my doggies. Like, I am In ready. In the backyard, smoking cigarettes. Oh, God, I used to sit on my fucking porch for hours on end smoking cigarettes writing reading you ain't telling me oh god it was fun smoker's paradise r.i.p man living in the smoker's paradise I miss it. yeah oh i miss it mm-hmm. i miss daddy's big ding dong mm-hmm. this is daddy's dong oh <gasps> Sorry. Everything you just did. <laughs> everything you just did is shit Rafe will do is a bit. He'll like come up and hug me and he'll like hold my head so tight and he'll be like, Oh god, dad. oh god, daddy. Oh nah. I'm gonna come. Daddy. <laughs> it's like what? Mama. Mama. Yeah. Mm, mama. Mama needs milk. Milk, mama. Milk. I would say that's one of the grossest things that we have adopted Gary into saying. No, it's hilarious. (laughs) The fact that he wants to be breastfed. (laughs) Mama, milk. Mama, milk. Oh, it's just actual footage of Gary asking for milk every day. (laughs) And a diaper change. Oh, God, my back. Barbara, what's going on? It's just uncomfortable sitting here, man. Well, oh, that's this country we live in, okay? It is. This country we live in, this country we live in hurts my back. It's not good for anybody. I'm finally fucking happy sitting in my little chair here. With your little... Oh, God microphone stand and oh oh feel amazing i mean just got everything going on here feel like casual like i'm getting interviewed like someone's about to ask me tough questions like i am the you know i'm like i'm ready i'm ready for whatever so when is it when did you discover that you were funny (laughs) (laughs) yeah um i mean You know, you were always doing talent show stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seems like you were always doing talent show stuff. You were ice skating and you were a model. Yes, I was on uh, John Robert Power. My mother signed me up for uh, modeling stuff when I was young, yeah. And did that get you anywhere? Did you get anywhere because of that modeling? Did you become an adult model? Um, I wouldn't say I became an adult model. I have paid, no one's, there's been a few pictures people have paid me to 
do, I guess, no. Now that I'm thinking about it, I paid everybody for the photos that I have. So technically that would make me a model. But Did you ever do this pose? <clears throat> Um, so, in a professional sense? No, but I did have a photo of me wearing a figure skating outfit, still wearing the tights, but you couldn't see that because we shot from the pussy area up. And um, I was sta- no, no, I had clothing on. Are I was you a just child. I, I had clothing on. I'm just I'm giving you a visual of where this was. Right. It was a photo of me uh, near a tree. I was holding onto a tree. My mother actually took the photo with her disposable camera that we had in the home. So and then so it was we, a quality photo. So it was a very good headshot. Uh, we did send it out. Did you put that in your portfolio? Yeah, that did go into my portfolio. Went into my resume, my portfolio. It also I started a lemonade stand that summer. I was a uh, ten. How did your How Seven. did you pose? Oh, next to the tree, I think like this. And that was to send to the modeling agencies? Yeah, and the cool part was you could see, like, um, my house in the background. (laughs) Christina, lean up against the tree, please. You could see see our house in the background and probably, like, my dad standing in the very back. (laughs) (laughs) My dad standing in the back like this. Do you have access to that photo? Oh, I I definitely have. I I gotta have some of them. I would love to see it. Yeah, I think I might have some of them at home. I'll find some. Your mom took pictures on a disposable camera to send to the modeling agency. <laughs> I swear to God. And they looked at it and they thought, "This is the next big <laughs> no, thing." No, I no. It was basically what we do now. It was basically my mom being like, "Okay, so maybe let's take a couple of pictures. I don't know. See if anything." This seems like a good idea. You, you, look, you look cute. You look nice. Nice, cute outfit. That's cute. Um, and I remember exactly what I was wearing in these photos. And I had braces and everything. I was wearing a leotard, a figure skating, you know, like a dress. It's got, it was like cut into two parts. It was like blue and black and white. Those were the colors. So that was a color scheme on this little thing. Because they would always make them very, trying to look athletic, you know, because we're athletes. Any sequence? Uh, there was no sequence on this one, and that's the funniest part uh, is wow. that it's a very bland photo. And, I mean, I really <laughs> I really am just, like, near a but tree. But somehow it got you into Robert Palmer's modeling agency. Robert Palmer's modeling agency. Well, and, again, that was one of those sign-up places. I think these were... The photos that my mom and I were taking, we were just fucking around. My mom was like, let's go. Let's speedball. We can write this off on 1099, W9, W2 tax season. We will write this off. Daughter is model. Oh, excuse us. We can't come over. We are modeling. Can anybody or yourself claim you as a dependent? Uh, I don't know. Me in a tax place. I'm like, I am a dependent, but my family also depends on me. (laughs) (laughs) then you wink Uh, that's funny oh god we had some good old fucking times i think svetlana needs to go through her photo albums and find those pictures oh there i I mean i i've seen them in the last five years for sure four decades i've seen them in the last four decades Oh, you know, that's like when we asked the girl at Pizza Ranch. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, how long, so how long have you been working here? Um, a couple of... Not too long. Only uh, four months. <laughs> we're like, what? Shouldn't you know where stuff is, ma'am? And you don't know where the fuck you are. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend, he uh, gave me all these bracelets to keep track of me. This necklace I'm wearing, it's got a ton of crystals. I got them all at Earthbound Trading Company. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Yeah, my boyfriend tries to get me one necklace per, per, uh, rind, uh, period. I get one a period. month. <laughs> Every time I get a period, he gets me a new earthly, earthly necklace. Yeah. <sighs> I am starting to get early onset dementia right now. Just right now. 
Bobby, you're starting to get sick is what's going on. Barbara, we ate and now I just want to lay down and go like this. And, and, and you're starting to black out. That's how I, I, I got done doing it at Tina's nail salon when I was doing my nails last night. And good God, I was fucking getting tired. Yeah, I, I worked all day yesterday. Oh, yeah, what'd you do? Well, I got up first things first, went to the laundromat, did 12 loads of laundry. Yeah. That about took it out of you. And then I went home because the night before I thought, oh, I'm going to move my bed over there and my desk over there. So I did that, but then it was trash. So then I had to organize that. Oh, God. You, it's, it's hard when you try to rearrange the room and do all that. There's so much going on. God, my bed was, the mattress and stuff wasn't heavy, but the bed frame, which is very light, was so bulky and hard to move. And I kept having to turn it around. I tried to fit it in that corner one way uh, so it wouldn't stick out, and it just barely fit, but the foot was up like this, and I couldn't access the plug, so I had to turn it around. Oh, Lord. Now you- I'm getting a twin-size mattress, Barbara. I think you can get what is called twin XL. I do not believe you need to just get twin. The I, long? I, I don't be- want the long. It'd be weird sheets. No, I thought twin XL means larger. What about full? What about full size? You don't need twin. I don't want it to stick out. I want to have clear path to bathroom. Clear path to bathroom. I think full mattress will fit in your little Rubik's Cube room you have. If I get a twin size mattress, I can stuff it in that corner. That way instead of this way. You want... So basically... Do you, do you want it parallel to the wall, or do you want it perpendicular to the wall? Parallel. So I want my bed head, all the way up to the wall. Feet, all the way up to the bed here, and then I can put my nightstand here so there will be a clear area in front of the bathroom. Yeah. Well. Because when I get out of the bed now, there's this much space, and I'm like, trying to get in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, chitch, every, oh, oh. Damn, dude, your tit just move that thing. Tits everywhere, and it's it's just uh, I like a clear bath to the ba- a clear path to the bathroom because when I get up, I'm heading there. We've got our bedroom. It's a, I mean, we're talking foot and a half spot. Uh uh-uh, uh couldn't do it. Oh god, it move out makes me want to scream. Yeah, Barbara, that's what people would do, but you can't just leave. Well, you do. You pick up your stuff. You get. Put it in boxes and you leave. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, and then you come to Nashville. That's what you did, and now you got uh, you living in a little storage unit. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, my friend. She's doing good. She's just living in her <laughs> little storage unit. If I had a bathroom in here and the temperatures were mild, I could live in here. I'd have no problem living in here. Honestly, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I a hundred. If this was the temperature all the time, I could certainly live in here. Uh, yeah, I, I have. N- I know you could because you <laughs> just go to the YMCA to take a shower every day. That is exactly what you'd be doing. My thing is though, what happens if you have a blowout? That's the problem when you're living in a place. If you don't have an active bathroom, that is fucking. I would have risky. an active bathroom with a shower and a toilet and a sink. I'd get a little hot plate in here and a microwave, and I'd be set up. Mm-mm. And I could just open my door and look out there. If I needed chairs, I could just go over there and get a couple. Yeah, I mean, this place, this storage unit's one of the most secure I've ever been <laughs> at in my life. And here's how I can tell you, is that they've still got the exact same Walk in, <laughs> double door, and every single motherfucker I was looking at last week. Yep. Nothing's been touched. Secure Nothing. premises. Well, during the day, they keep the gate open till four. And then at night, they close the gate. But during the day, any kind of riffraff can come in here. Oh, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen a, a, even a little bit of riffraff. But you know what I have seen is spilled the, the, the spilled blood of patriots. patriots. Oh, God, I've seen it everywhere. Steeped in the blood. I oh, could, th- you know what I could do? I could put mar- list all that stuff on Facebook Marketplace and have people come start picking it up. 
Yeah, you certainly can. You oh, need, Lord. You need some chairs? We got some right here, brother. Yep. <clears throat> you need some walk-in freezers? Come on over. This would be a great place. I mean, honestly, I I don't mind the idea of conducting business out of this storage unit or whatever. Like, this is cool. Imagine if you just, you know, sold stuff out here all day. You'd be sitting oh, here I like Mike Wazowski's fucking secretary. If you know? I had a little cash register yeah. and a point of charge machine. Yeah. I'd just be like, go ahead and take a look around, go out there and see what you want and come on and bring the tag back and then you can load it up in your truck and I'll check you out. That would be the perfect job for you. Oh, like, I would love it. And I'd sit here on my phone during the rest of the time, just kind of looking around like, got a couple of browsers. People are browsing out there. And they're like, hey, can you? And I'm like, you have to come back over here. I, I'm not coming out there. Mm-mm. Or I could get a golf cart where then I could go over there if I needed to. But really, if they have any questions about it, I mean, they're all being sold as is. So Yeah, there there really isn't much to talk about. You would have done a great job being the estate sale lady the other day when we went and hopped over to an estate <laughs> sale. So this gal, did you hear about this no, gal? No, but I just imagine. Oh, Lord, man. Well, first off. There's a lady that's in the estate sale, not not affiliated with the actual estate sale, just over looking at some closets in a room with us. And I mean, she is just looking it up, just holding dresses up and handing them to Paige. Like she has become her new fashionista. <laughs> the lady's just piling dress on. What do you think about this one? And Paige is like, yeah, I guess. I think Paige ended up accident, like having to buy all of this clothes because the lady just kept piling stuff on. Wow. Little old lady out of nowhere but the lady doing the actual estate sale herself like running the thing she had a little bit of an attitude because maggie went to buy something and she was like oh i think this one said three and the lady goes we don't have anything for free and maggie was like i didn't say for free oh i could just see i maggie. said three. Oh yeah she was pissed maggie was but uh, either way, people, this lady sat at her little station the whole hour and a half we were there. She didn't fucking move, man. She just sat there taking her little tags, moving and grooving, just doing stuff, talking to people. She had a line around the fucking, you know. Did she have a cash box? Yeah. Oh, how fun. Oh, she had a cash box, was taking little stickers looked like they were older than the fucking dead ladybugs that for some reason were all over this house. Japanese beetles. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. Do they infest homes when people mm -hmm. fucking leave? They infest homes when you don't leave. Why? Who the fuck are these guys? They're just... I think in the fall, they just start to come in and... Oh, God. They're all over my bedroom. I have to vacuum them up all the time. Dead ones. I... So the amount of Japanese beetles or Japanese cherry blossoms, Bath and Body Works flavor bug that I saw. <laughs> holy shit. There's a lot. This is state. Libby, I'm talking 500. Oh, my mom's house in the country. She would get them in the in the windowsill and there'd be hundreds in each windowsill. A layer. I'm. I'm starting to think that you just can't really get keep the outdoors out well and that was proven in your back in your bed well people didn't get to hear that episode because that episode had rain in it oh shit but we're gonna release it on patreon anyway where yeah. i got attacked by a uh, centipede also woke up yesterday and there was a mouse in my bed that annie had killed and what else happened <laughs> oh my god there was something else in my bed. A spider yesterday. What did you do with the mouse? I picked it up, threw it in the trash can, and then took my sheets off the bed and went straight to the laundromat. <laughs> Usually she'll kill them and keep them on the floor, which is fine. Let her kill the mice all day. Don't yeah. bring it in my bed. Don't put it in there while I'm sleeping. Little mouse like this. Oh, God, just dead, looking like a little angel. Like, hey, what's up? Let's relapse. It's like, no, you're dead. We're not relapsing right now, little mouse. You're a dead mouse. Oh, God. eat them. And their little hands are like this? Yeah. 
Oh God, why doesn't, that is what, that drives me crazy though. The fact that she doesn't eat them. And I guess it's because she's not hungry because she just gets fed. So that part of her brain is like fulfilled. I don't know if any cats eat them. They're ju- it's just know. an instinct and they can't help it. Oh man. Barbara, she's going to vomit. I'm just thinking about her gnawing on a mouse. It's fucking grossing me out. But she plays with them till the till they're dead. Just fucking just keeps. Just and what's the mouse doing this whole time? Like, just kind of hanging and like running around trying to get the hell away from her. Yeah, I got one and took it outside one time because I couldn't stand to hear its little squeaks. Oh God! I'm like what is she doing? Yeah, that uh, uh it, it was running around. Oh Lord! And I was like. Oh, God. I can't believe you woke up with one in your bed, man. That is when I would say to uh, my little friend, bye. I'd rather she kill him than than be sitting at the ceiling going like, or staring up at the ceiling like this. Because she, she knows they're up there, so she's like, and they're running. All up top down there? Where it's not finished up there. Oh. They're running in between the wood things, and she's going. And just staring. At the like, little. That's how I don't know how she gets them. Because she's not getting up there. So they're obviously coming. That's the thing though, dude. You don't even know what you're actually fucking living with. Oh, I'm I, I'm sure if we took those walls down, I would scream from now until the end of time. <sighs> like the kid on Home Alone. just. <sighs> and that's fine. As long as they're not crawling on me. Yeah, I just, I can't see them. And I don't see any droppings around, so they're not, like, getting... Don't say droppings. <laughs> That's what they're called. I don't see any <laughs> droppings around, and they're not getting in any of my food. I'm going to start getting some... Uh, most of my food's in the fridge, but I'm going to start getting some containers when I do put food up in my shelves that I'm going to put them in an airtight thing so they don't get in there and start going... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some containers for their droppings. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never get Swiss cheese because that's all my seat, right? Swiss cheese. Oh, no, that sucks. I love Swiss cheese. Just kidding. No, I know. But truly, I mean, I'm never, you know. Oh, I love a good Swiss. Oh, anyone hating on a Swiss, you're wrong. Go make a Reuben. You put a Swiss on something and melt it. <laughs> oh, God. The, the, the moldy taste, the kick that it's got, oh. the, oh, oh, God. You ever had a Cobb salad? With Swiss cheese cubes. Oh. Cubes. Cubes. A nice, robust Swiss when Mm. you're chomping on it. Mm. Mm. Ooh, Mm. multiple little flavors, and you just wish you had a little, another, another bite. I was sorry. I was looking at your phone, making sure it was still on. I see it. Oh, Lord, I got scared. Barbara, don't be scared. I'm looking at your phone. Not out there, Lord. This is a secure facility, as you said. This is It's, a- it's already locked now, so nobody's coming up in here. Oh, this facility is very secure. It's secured, and the only people that are coming in here are people that are next door that have dead bodies in there. So nothing to worry about. Nope. You hear somebody sawing, they're sawing body parts. We have no, pro- I have no problem with that. As long as I don't have to see it or smell it, hey, you know, you keep doing your thing, brother. And keep on sh- shine on, you crazy diamond. And to get in the gate, they have to punch in their code so they'll know every time they come in. Mm-hmm. And because I got this place without even giving them an ID, uh, that leads me to believe murderers could actually. Um, Get a storage space without an ID, and they could actually be putting bodies in there. So I will say that I did get a piercing recently in California, and uh, they did not take my ID also. Or <sighs> so I gotta That's take that. this call. Yeah, Bob, I'll take your little call. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was the plastic surgeon's office, and he did not mean to call me. Oh, that is even more embarrassing than I thought. (laughs) Could not be more embarrassing. Well, guys, it looks like we are at the end of the podcast anyway. So um, 
we may as well go ahead and close out strong. To those of you that are setting sail with us this week on uh, the cruise, <laughs> don't wow. ever say that. Again. <laughs> we can't wait to see you and your droppings. So we'll see you guys <laughs> on Tammy's pontoon party March twenty second through the twenty fifth. Hey, let's have a good time. Love you. Uh -huh. Bye bye. That was a ring. Cut.